Hello everybody, my name is Jess and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making our very own mermaid seashell bras inspired by Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And so I wanted to go ahead and say that this bra is not particularly parks accurate or movie accurate. It's just kind of things that I thought would look pretty, kind of just a collection of seashell ocean inspired items that I found at various stores that I thought would look cute on a bra. So if you want to make a bra that is unique, that is just completely your own, um, keep watching to follow this tutorial and if you like content like this and you want more content like this mermaid slash princess content um, Please like the video drop a comment and don't forget to subscribe as well. So here's how I made my mermaid seashell bra So uh, we are currently on our way to the store to get the ingredients to make the seashell bra. So we're going to uh, go to the dollar store and see if they have good stuff there. And then if not, we're going to go to the craft store, but I'm trying to keep it cheap. Alright, so these are all the supplies needed. Obviously you need one bra, make sure it's your correct size or whatever, make sure it's a bra that you're never gonna wanna see again. And then we're gonna have a hot glue gun with hot glue sticks, obviously. I have some fish wire, whatever it's called, that's gonna go under my bra, in between the bra and the tail, just to kind of give myself a little bit more coverage down there. Completely optional if you don't want that, you don't have to have it. Here I have um, some big shells, which are gonna go right here, right at the main part of the bra, and then some littler shells to surround it. I have some pearls. I have um, two different sizes. So I have here 10 millimeter pearls. And then in here, I have some more smaller pearls as well. And then I also have these, which are flat pearls. I think they might stick a little bit better. I have some sequins, obviously. And then I have more sequins in here. I have three colors of glitter, white, blue and pink. I have some starfish. I'm gonna put one of the starfish right in the middle of the bra and then I'm gonna make a separate starfish clip. I have some real seashells. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use these because they're super fragile and I don't want to waste them but I have them just in case. And then I have two colors of paint. This is for the main part of the bra and I have some different colors of paint as well just in case we want to get a little bit fun with it. So the goal for the bra is not to have a single part of the white portion showing. I want the whole thing to be covered in shells, pearls, glitter, or whatever. So let's see what we can do. So before I even start with the bra, my first goal is to paint these two seashells purple. So I have two different colors of purple. I have dark and light and we're going to try to make a gradient with these two just like it kind of looks in the movie. Okay, so I don't know why it didn't film me doing the gradient on this one. I don't know. My phone is just being really rude right now. I basically did it the exact same way. So now that these are done, I just have to wait for them to dry and then I'm going to glue them onto the bra. Okay, so now we're going to glue these to the bra. These are actually a lot smaller than the cup of the bra than I was originally thinking. So I'm not really sure how well this is going to work or how well it's going to look after. I might end up painting some more of these the same color so it looks a bit better but um let's see how it goes okay here's what the first one looks like on i'll show you the process of how i got it to be like this okay so basically how i aligned how i was gonna put the shell was i kind of just put the bra up against my boobs like this because when it's not on me it kind of like flattens out a little bit and so i kind of wanted to see the position of how the shell was gonna look when it was on my bra like this okay so this is how i hot glued the bra together i'm gonna try really hard to make these sides both even but we'll see so i just kind of put some like right here on this corner first 
And then I just put the corner down on here like this. So now I'm gonna go in here on this corner and I'm gonna put the glue, I put the glue on this, the seashell, not the bra. I'm gonna put the glue on there, hold it down. I'm sorry if these angles are really weird, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to charge like a million things at a time as I'm filming this. Okay, now I just fill in like slowly the sides of the bra and I'm only doing the sides because that's just how it's easiest to stick and as you can see i'm really trying to make them even and i start in i'm kind of holding it right up against the bra and i'm just putting in the glue in the little crack it's okay if some seeps out because i'm gonna you know be putting stuff to cover that and then press down each side so i just do that all the way up ow 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 this is burning me Here's it so far. I'm gonna take two of those little shells, I'm gonna paint them purple, and I'm gonna put them right in these corners, I think. Okay, so I just ended up doing these two, just the light purple, and I think I'm gonna go back in and find another spot to put two shells and do those two, just the dark purple. But before I put these onto the bra, I have to let them dry. So I think what I'm gonna do while I'm letting them dry is I'm gonna glue some of uh, the pearls in. Okay, never mind. I decided that I'm gonna put the starfish on because that will determine how much room I have for pearls and stuff. I really wanna put glitter on the starfish. Okay, so I'm gonna paint the starfish this light gray color and then put the glitter on. I know this color seems boring, but I think it'll look good Good against the starfish and then I think I'm gonna put a pearl right in between here too. So now that it's gray, I do have to wait for it to dry, but I'm gonna put a pearl right in the center and then I'm gonna do some glitter around that. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm gonna take these two shells of about the equal size, I'm gonna paint these two the dark purple. So now everything is pretty much dry. I'm gonna do a second coat on these ones because as you can see, it's kind of spotty. So now I have this clear Elmer's glue and I have this starfish that's dried. As you can see, I put some glitter on it already, just that was sticking to the wet paint. But I'm gonna take this glue and I'm gonna pour it all over the starfish and then put glitter on that so the glitter can stick to this. Okay, so here is the starfish, kind of with the glitter on it. I'm not sure if I'm too happy with it. I feel like the glitter is a little bit too subtle, but also it's kind of too much to add any more glitter on top. So I'm just hoping it shows really well in photos and such. Yay, I'm really liking how this is turning out so far. Oh my gosh, I need to glue that on better. But I think I'm gonna add some pearls and seashells down in these crevices. Oh my god, this is really coming off. Never mind. And then, then I'll put the dark purple ones on the outer, outer edge. And now you get to see me individually hot glue each sequin, pearl, and shell to this part of the bra. Don't worry, I cut most of it out. Here is the finished product of this in-between portion of the bra, and I have to say, there's a lot of hot glue there still right now, which I'll take off when it dries, but I am in love with this look so far. The only thing is, it has been taking me forever because I'm individually hot gluing each single sequence on them. So I think for the rest of the bra, I'm gonna try to put a bit bigger of seashells, but I'm gonna glue those two other purple ones on there right now. with 
all the seashells on. I'm like obsessed with this. Okay, I think that these are the only seashells I'm gonna paint purple. I think the other ones, I'm gonna leave their natural color. But for now, I'm gonna put some pearls right on these seashells, kind of like it looks in the movie, how there's like sparkles on there. I'm gonna do that with pearls. There's the pearls on it. I truly, as I said before, I do not have a plan. I'm just gonna start randomly gluing things throughout the rest of this and I will see how it looks. Hopefully it'll look anything like the middle because that just looks so gorgeous to me. This is what we're looking at so far. I think I'm just gonna finish the cups of the bra and then I think I'm gonna do something completely different with the side. I'm not sure yet, but I do have that fishnet. So I think I'm gonna implement that a little bit more. I'm really liking how it looks. I'm thinking of adding some more of the big shells on the side, maybe more starfish, honestly. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I finished the first cup. I don't know. I can't. There we go. See this a little bit better. So I'm not sure I'm completely in love with what I did with this star finish. Just because it looks a little bit blank. So I think I'm going to end up painting that. But I might do that tomorrow. Right now I'm focused on just finishing this cup. Guys, it is nearly midnight. So I'm just going to try to finish this. And then hopefully go to bed. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the sides tonight. I might have to wait for inspiration to strike for that. I might get back to it tomorrow. It is crazy. Look at my hands. <laughs> yeah, okay, you can't see it as ba bad on camera as it is in real life, but my hands are truly covered in hot glue. Here's the bra again, if you didn't get a good feel. So the cups are both done. I'm gonna do the sides in fishnet, but I'm going to do that tomorrow because I am so tired. It is nearly 1 a.m. I've been doing this since 4.30 is when I left my house to get everything. And I've been working pretty much nonstop since then. So I'm super proud with how this turned out. I am nervous to try it on though, so I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to do that. Okay, so for the sides and for the strap, I'm going to use this decorative net and I'm gonna cover that. But first I'm gonna paint this part white because I don't want it to show through the net. Okay, so it's not perfect, but I think it'll do because the net is going to be covering most of it. Okay, so I'm just kind of holding the bra up to me again. I don't want to put the bra fully on yet because I don't want to put it on until it's finished in case I like break something. I'll at least have one moment of it being finished. But then I'm just kind of draping this fishnet where I kind of want it to go. I want it to go all the way around but have like a slit kind of right here. I just wanted to like vaguely get a sense of what it would look like on and yeah I think this is the look I want to go with. <music> I've decided that I'm going to leave this part open so I can adjust the clasps. So 
So I think I'm gonna put it back up to me and see how long I want it and then cut it. So sorry that that last thing I just did didn't film because my phone ran out of storage. But basically what I did is I just finished up this part. I added some more pearls to it and then I added glitter to these seashells at the top because they just looked out of place without the glitter. So I'm gonna let that set for a little bit and then I'm gonna go in and do the fishnet on the straps and then I think I'll be done. Okay, so here's the strap it, and it just goes all the way around back here. Um, I'm not sure I'm completely in love with it so I'm definitely gonna add more pearls to kind of spice it up a bit. But now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I think the bra is finally done. It's currently almost three, and I started this at 4.30 yesterday. So it's been a long time. Obviously I slept in between, but it has taken me a long time. So I'm gonna put it on and see how it looks. Okay, here it looks on. Okay, I'm obviously not the skinniest person in the world, so don't bully me, but I really like how it looks. So if you want to make your own seashell bra that looks like this, there you go. One thing I will say is if you're gonna make this bra, I would recommend going a size up in both cup and band wise because this is like exactly my size, but because I glued so many things like on the inside and underside of the bra, it ended up being a little bit tight. And these straps, which are normally adjustable, I am scared to adjust them now. So that is a little bit tight. And then the cup, I don't know. I feel like the cup just got a little bit smaller because it's less like expandable. It's pretty rigid and like the position that it's in. But other than that, I am very pleased with how this turned out. Hey guys, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and comment below what other kinds of videos you want to see in the future. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms. My Instagram is princessjess18, and my TikTok is also princessjess18. Thank you, see you in the next video.